Hello everybody and welcome back to Sneaker Huddle. I'm John Dunlap. In today's video, we're gonna be talking the best of the best sneaker releases of the entire week. For you resellers out there, we're gonna be doing some estimated resale predictions for each and every release, the links, raffles, how you can cop, we're gonna be covering all that in today's video. So if you haven't guys, please do smash that subscribe button to stay 100% up to date on all hype sneaker releases here at Sneaker Huddle. And without further ado guys, the first sneaker we're gonna be talking about in today's video is the Nike SB Dunk Low Laser Orange. Now this is a GR Dunk that is scheduled for May of 2020. It will hit skate shops in the US very soon, but there currently are two raffles open, one in Europe and Netherlands. I will leave the link to those raffles down down below in the video description. Moving on to May 14th, the Como de Garçons to release their two Nike Dunk Lows on May the 14th to drop in women's sizing 5 through 14 and men's sizes 3.5 through 12.5. They'll launch exclusively through Como de Garçon and Dover Street Market on May the 14th and a time is to be determined but we will keep you updated on our Twitter account. An additional wider release by Como de Garçons wholesale partners to follow in the very near future. Now, although retail for the pairs is set at 260 US dollars, that will cut into profit margins for you resellers just a little bit. But if we do head over to StockX, you can see that the lowest ask for the all over print is 736 and the standard pair for 649. Both of these pairs are extremely hype. A Como de Garcon Nike Dunk, expect profit for all sizes. Now we have a few sneakers that we're gonna be talking about for May the 15th. And first up is the Stray Rats New Balance 827 that is scheduled to drop at 10 a.m. Eastern time on the 15th of the month at Stray Rats. There is also a raffle at Good Hood Store, which I will leave the link to that in the video description. Then these are supposed to follow a wider retail release on May the 22nd. Retail for the pair has been set at $156. Now, estimated resale prediction for the New Balance 827 Stray Rats. As you can see, there are no lowest ask on StockX, but based on the other Stray Rat collaborations with New Balance, they did do pretty well on the secondary market. It was lunch money. It wasn't anything too crazy. So with this upcoming brown sneaker, I do think if you would like it for personal, definitely do not sleep. Definitely with New Balance, they are on the rise. It does have premium materials. It is a unique colorway, but I don't think that these could resell. You know, they could have lunch money, but nothing too crazy. Definitely don't sleep on the pair for personal, but I do think on the 15th of the month for you resellers, there are other sneakers that you wanna place your emphasis and your efforts towards, which are the Nike Air Max 90 Duck Camo Volt. Retail for the pair has been set at 140 US dollars. They will drop on May the 15th. There are currently available raffles at In Clothing, One This Extra Butter, and tons of raffles. We will link those down below in the video description for all sneakers. The pair is scheduled to drop on the Nike sneakers app and various Nike retailers on on the 15th of the month here in the United States at 10 a.m. Eastern time and times will vary depending on what country you are in but all that information will be on Twitter. When we do head over to StockX and we do pull the Air Max 90 Duck Camo Volt, as you can see, lowest ask is currently $237. The Air Max 90 Reverse Duck Camo that dropped earlier this year, lowest ask is currently $160 for that silhouette, which was a far better, superior collaboration than this Green Volt. But we are going to compare the numbers and pull numbers from that to get an estimate to what these Green Volts should sell for. So as you can see guys, for smaller sizes, retail for the pair is 140. And as you can see for like a size six, it's 175 right now. But if you do scroll down sizes 10 and above, are selling for $200 and up. If you do remember, we did tell you guys to go for the larger sizes for this release because with the Air Max 90 silhouette, sizes 10 through sizes like 12, that's gonna be your sweet spot. So with sizes 10 through 12 typically going for 200 to $250 for the reverse camo, we would expect similar numbers for the camo bolt but if you do scroll down, they are pretty similar right now, but I do think that after the release, these are gonna be more like 180 to 200 because I do believe 
that the infrared colorway or that orange colorway, whatever you want to refer to it as, is a superior colorway than this green bolt. Also on the 15th of the month, the Stussy Nike Zoom Spiridine Cage 2 in the black colorway will drop alongside a increase the piece T that will drop this Friday, May the 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, available exclusively at Stussy.com. So estimated resale prediction for the Nike Air Zoom Spiridine Cage 2 in Stussy or Stussy, whichever way you guys do pronounce it, you either pronounce it one way or the other. I do apologize. I know a lot of people do fuss about this, but estimated resale predictions for this black colorway, as you can see on StockX, Lois Ask is currently 467. The other two colorways did extremely well. If you do ask me, I do think that this black colorway will do very similar to, I think it was like the metallic or the pure platinum colorway. This is the sneaker that I'm referring to. I think resale values will be very similar to this colorway. Now, if we do pull it to see what sizes did the best, as you can see, last transaction, 7.5, 385, that can go ahead and give you an indication that the base sizes and the smaller sizes for the Spiridon colorway from Stussy Collaboration, those are the sizes that are gonna be in that sweet spot. So the smaller the size, the better. Also on the 15th of the month, rumored is the Yeezy Basketball Quantum Unfortunately, no details have emerged recently, which means one of three things. The pair will drop via Adidas app exclusive access. There will be a shock drop at a random time on the 15th, likely at midnight, 3 a.m., 7 a.m., or 10 a.m. Eastern time, or the release has been postponed. We will keep you updated on Twitter for this release, but unfortunately, we have not heard anything, and no one has really heard anything. We don't really know what exactly is going on with this release, but more details will come soon. The very next day, May the 15th, the Adidas Yeezy 500 High Tyrion will drop worldwide. Now, more details on the links and the raffles can be found in the description below. But when it comes to an estimated resale prediction for the Yeezy 500 High Tyrion, uh, these are not gonna be profitable. I don't think there's any way that they can be. Retail has been set at 200 US dollars. The initial OG colorway looked way better than this Tyrion, uh, and I am pronouncing that correctly. I know it sounds really, really weird to pronounce that Tyrion, uh, but I did look it up and that's how you pronounce it. I did think that it would be like Tyrion, but it is Tyrion. Also on May the 16th, the Nike LeBron 7 Media Day that comes in alternate Laker colors. Now there are raffles on Extra Butter, Hannon, Oneness, FSB, Renarts, Well Gosh, and Sneakers and Stuff. When it comes to resale for this pair, I do think that certain sizes, you know, the smaller sizes and the popular sizes, you know, I think anywhere from sizes seven to around 12, they're gonna be hit or miss. I think depending on how limited and, you know, depending on who takes L's on the sneaker with a lot of hype being around the Los Angeles Lakers right now, the LeBron seven being one of the best LeBrons of all time when it comes to, you know, the sneakers uh, that he's had throughout his career. So I do think it's possible that these could have lunch money. I don't think there's anything too crazy but if you do buy this only for resale purposes go for a common size check StockX to see what sizes are doing better than others and you know make sure that wherever you're purchasing these sneakers from they do have a free return policy if you are a reseller but long story short for the LeBron 7 don't expect anything too crazy but possible lunch money now rounding off the week on the 17th the Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0 triple white is officially returning this week now these will release exclusively through the Adidas app, which is a raffle, which you can find the link to that raffle down below in the video description. Now this actual silhouette dropped back in 2015, Kanye West, this was towards the beginning of his run with Adidas uh, and you know, making Adidas Yeezy. And you know, he had a lot of hype behind this sneaker. You know, he was wearing it on his tour and they flew off shelves. They even saw, you know, a small point there where they had resale value. I do not think that that, you know the ultra boost is such a standardized shoe now the hype has died down tremendously i think these are personal only but definitely a good addition to your collection now yesterday on twitter i give you guys the opportunity to vote on the sneaker of the week which in a landslide it was the como de garcon nike dunk most hype silhouette of the entire week i do agree with the audience out there now if you haven't followed us on twitter you can find the link to that down below in the video description and i also gave you guys the opportunity to ask your questions and we're going to answer a few of those questions right now the first question comes from Justin. Do you think stores will ever do online raffles to purchase shoes online? Foot Locker, Hibbit, Champs, etc. 
do you think they should why or why not now the good thing is justin and to the entire audience out there is that hibbit and champs and Foot Locker, they already do raffles for these and the way that you can register for these raffles and increase your chances to win these raffles is make sure you have an account with them you have the app downloaded on your device and when you go in to spend money at hibbit sports or if we tweet you know a really great deal out there on hibbit sports make sure you're signed into your hibbit sports account so every single time you're making a purchase it's going towards your vip or your mvp whatever it is the system for you know hibbit sports and Foot Locker champs east bay or flex accounts the more money you have spent with them you're increasing your chances to actually win these limited silhouette raffles such as yeezys and jordan ones now the last question we're going to be answering in today's video and the reason why i'm answering this question is because caleb he was the very first person to ask a question so i am going to get into his question and that is should i continue to hold fearless one dead stock size nine or should i sell now now on StockX for the UNC to Chicago in a men's size 9, you can sell it for $274 right now. I would not sell this sneaker for, let's see, I would wait until it gets from $300 to 325 I think with this Jordan 1 silhouette, it's going to have to eventually get there. I think that this is a very unique colorway. I know everyone's not crazy over the patent leather on the sneaker, but I definitely do think that it will eventually get there very soon, especially with summer coming up. And people really love the UNC colorways for summertime. So I hope that this does help you. But if you do sell it right now, it's not a bad deal at all. Now, guys, that's all for today's video. For a chance to have your questions answered in next week's segment, all you got to do is follow us on Twitter and drop a comment with your question on that tweet now guys that's all for today's video if you haven't please do subscribe to the channel all you got to do is hit that sneaker huddle logo and if you see a video here that you would like to watch i'll see you guys there in just a little bit god bless and good luck this week